Hey guys, so I started working on a new track today, and I, of course, I started with the intro. But anyways, first I laid down this main line, which is just gonna be, it's just gonna be a build up, cause that's how you wanna build, you wanna build an intro. Let me show you how you did it. The first thing I did was open up a brash com lead in Thor. I didn't make any changes to it, cause once I add effects, it'll be in the unique all to itself, anyways. But I added effects, which is combinator effects. You can browse it by creating a combinator and clicking this folder right here. And then I selected the dub delayla, and I didn't change much in this. Really, all I changed was down here on the screen for this damage. It was originally right here at 63, and I'll here I'll let you listen to what it sounds like before I changed anything. And I'm gonna change it a little bit right now, so you can hear what brings out. You hear that back there? It's like a screechy. It's like wah 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 wah. Excuse my singing. And in my second combinator, which is labeled combinator one, because I labeled my first one uh, Thor FX one. So when I recreated it, it automatically named it combinator one. Uh, I selected the rhythm generator, which is a run, so it sequences my track. And what it does is it has two matrix, and you can see that they're exact opposites, which is beautiful. And the reverb, uh, they were about halfway when I created it, so I took it down because there was just way too much reverb, way too filled out. But I really want reverb there because that is what fills it out. Just it was filled out too much, so I brought that down. Kept them hall two and hall because I thought it was a perfect match. I added the fourth button right here, which is a sustain minimum of 56, max 127, but it's all part of my build up, really easy to do, and I'll play it out for you so you know what's going on and how everything changes it. All I used was button four and then the bypass, which was already built in, and when I go to play it, I'll actually assign it to my keyboard so I can play it live and get all of the goodies in there. Here, I'll play it for you. Starts out. You hear that screechy noise in the back bring out once it plays through the loop once. Second part of the build up. Now I'll let it th play through on this once more. Add a little bit of stuff later, but not to this line. Be separate lines. This is where it's about to cut out. It starts back in. This is where everything gets added to it. Drums, the beats, the pulse. So this will kind of actually drown out. But if you couldn't hear it, when I click bypass right here, that noise that's back there, that's what this is affecting. I could really bring it out, but I like it hidden back there, you know? Turn that down, because that will keep going. There we go. So hopefully I'll continue this track. It won't get lost in my stuff. Oh gosh, here it comes back. Just turn that all the way down. <laughs> hopefully this won't get lost in other things that I'm doing. And I'll try to update it all the way through so you guys can see what's going on. You can take these effects, add it to your own stuff. Don't rip me off. Use your own line, please. <laughs> Actually, I really don't care. You can copy it. I'll show it to you right now. Here's the notes. Pause right now. Copy it up. 